This year, during Tesla's first quarter earnings call, Elon Musk said this, If you've got a sentient humanoid robot that is able to navigate reality and do tasks at request, there is no meaningful limit to the size of the economy. Recently, ARK Invest, one of the few investment firms that focuses solely on disrupting innovation and trying to predict the next big thing, just published a pretty shocking report called How ARK is Thinking about humanoid robotics, September 10th. Now, ARK Investments was founded by Kathy Wood in 2014. Kathy has over 40 years of experience identifying and investing in innovation. Kathy's managed $5 billion in funds before founding ARK. At ARK, she leads a team of experts, and together they work to predict the next disruptor in the markets. ARK Invest has consistently, accurately reported on the growth of GBT models, and this chart which I often reference, is one of the very few out there that shows the reality of how many AI researchers have been off by 50 to 80 years, whereas we went from GPT-2 to 3 in just a matter of a few years. That's why I'm taking this report seriously, and if you watch my video on the rise of the robots, you know that I predict a massive humanoid revolution about to unleash on factory workers in almost every industry, white collar first, blue collar second. We could even see a mix of both, with Figure 02 backed by Bezos, NVIDIA, Microsoft, and their next generation robot deployed in BMW factories and successfully assembling an entire chassis all by themselves. I think that this report from ARC is spot on with what's coming. And here's what it's saying. I hope you're sitting down. If humanoid robots are able to operate at scale, they will generate $24 trillion. This is a split almost equally between household and manufacturing robotics. Yes, robots like Rosie the Robot put in homes and then the manufacturing sector, which employs, by the way, nearly 12 million people who work over 23 billion hours per year. If we had the sentient robot Robots that Musk described early 2024, and we can substitute these robots for human workers, put them to work 16 hours a day. In manufacturing alone, we would only need 5.9 million robots, which is half the number of human workers employed in that sector today, to deliver the same, if not better, level of manufacturing output. Now, at first, humanoids will debut at higher price points. It's not going to be efficient to hire a humanoid over a human, but this this will change, and very quickly. For example, at a cost of $16,000 per robot, a humanoid robot would have to deliver only a little bit more than a 5% gain in productivity relative to a human to be economically viable for that employer. Company size and labor share are the two pieces, the two variables in manufacturing that this ARK Invest report points out we should consider, and I find this very interesting. In small companies, the report says employees wear more than one hat. This results in a less specialized and less potentially automated role. The more diverse, the more roles you fill, the harder that actually is to automate. But in large manufacturing firms, there are often specialized and easily automated roles. When you have specialization and the potential for automation in these large firms, you have the wherewithal to scale these humanoids significantly, which means you can dramatically lower labor costs. It's also interesting and almost counterintuitive because large companies typically pay more than their small counterparts, which means the profit gains stand to be much larger for these large companies adapting to humanoids as workers. Generalized automation solutions, meaning the ability for a robot to automate multiple different tasks. We aren't there yet. Smaller companies are in this weird in-between boat of automatable, but not yet really automated. However, if we have a generalized robotic, the one must describe that is sentient and understands at a human reasoning level, generalized tasks across a number of categories, that humanoid could displace work in so many ways. The report ends with this. The biggest question now is, how could quickly will AI enable human-like performance across the subsectors of manufacturing and beyond. Time will tell, but I'm telling you, iRobot is not science fiction anymore, except for the part where the robot kills humans. Yes, that's still science fiction.
science fiction, but the race to develop and deploy humanoid AI is on. This is now an established $24 trillion market. What's possible in production, efficiency, and even innovation will dramatically open up when we have potentially millions of robots deployed to do all the menial work. I think the potential of skyrocketing profits from corporations due to this $24 trillion market that humanoids will open up is a path to UBI and the potential of a post-labor economy. We are absolutely headed there. This report confirms it. And I think that the launch of AGI could lead us into a new society. We have never had anything like this happen in our world before, where literally all work got automated. I think that this will force us to build a new economy Economy, force countries and worlds to come together because otherwise we're looking at a potential of zero economy and nothing left for humanity. And in the end, I don't believe any one world government wants that. UBI is an answer and a solution. Stewarding the earth will look completely different in an era where we don't need to have a job and receiving dividends from the labor of these robots, of AI itself, will make sense in this new era. How are we going to get there? How are we going to bridge the gap between a total economy collapse and that scenario? Well, that's what I'm exploring and I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel for more thoughts on this topic. And if you have thoughts, please share them in the comments. I love hearing from you, especially those of you that have scenarios and ideas on what our new economy could look like in a post-labor society. It's absolutely wild to think that the sentient humanoid market is brand new, but yet it's worth $24 trillion with over 20 companies in the race to build walking, talking, functional, even sentient humanoids. We're going to see this happen. Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, Figure AI, Kawasaki Robotics, Tesla, Samsung, and many more companies from all over the world are in this race right now. I'm so excited about this future and I look forward to seeing it continue to develop. I, for one, am not a fan of the institutionalized, productivity-driven hustle culture that the industrial revolution instilled in us. I don't think it's healthy or even what's best for the human race. I think if robotics and the coming age of automation can get us completely out of that, then we just need to figure out how to live our life and come together as a world, as a society to best plan for this future. This is my hope. As an optimist, no, I haven't lost hope for humanity. I still think there's a lot of good to be had ahead. In fact, some of the best days of our lives. I hope that could be your perspective too. Be sure to subscribe to my channel right here on YouTube, Julie McCoy. I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments as usual, and I'll see you down the next AI rabbit hole.